Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Braun shavers and this Norelco shaver. So on the left I've got the Braun Series 7. It's got a charging base and cleaning base all in one, which I really love. In the middle I've got the Braun Series 3 Pro Skin. And on the right I've got the Philips Norelco shaver 3800. All three of these are wet dry. I have shaved with them in the shower with shaving cream and I've also shaved with them uh, dry. Now, they, the way I shave with them dry is I do it before I shower. They want that skin to be kind of just a little oily. It does help when you're shaving dry that way. Okay, so the first thing you're going to know, I'll talk about the charging and cleaning station, which I really love. But the first thing you're going to notice, the Philips Norelco and the Braun, there's kind of a, the Braun just feels like a, a, a beefier shaver. You got the... You know, the, the, the Philips and the Ruckle does a pretty good job, but it doesn't just feel like it's a, you know, you kind of feel like something is doing some work. That's what the Braun is. And it's a different type of head. Now, again, both of them do okay. I do think the Braun shavers with their foil head do a really good job of shaving. I'm going to show you that. Again, the Philips and the Ruckle, it's just a kind of a different kind of shave. This kind of moves. The heads kind of move too. The whiskers go in there and get cut. Again, it's, it's working good. It just, you know, this is definitely very lightweight. The bronze, not heavy by no means, but again, it just feels like it's doing work. They both have a pop-up. This is for doing sideburns. This is for doing sideburns. And this one's even got something for doing sideburns. Here's the sideburns on the bronze. Again, you just feel like the Braun has more revolutions per minute, like it's spinning faster with both those Brawns. With the Philps, you know, the Norelco, yeah, it's spinning. It just doesn't seem quite as fast. Now, all three of these are meant to travel. They, like, this one's got a base station. So does the Philps Norelco. You just take the base station off, take the charger with you, and you can plug it in as you travel with it. The Philps comes with a very nice bag to keep it in, and it does have something to protect the head, which is very nice. The Braun also has something to protect the head and to keep the button from being pressed. This is your travel, and then your charger you just plug into here. The Series 7, you'll have to unplug the base station, and the base station charger will plug right into the, char the razor, so that's how you travel with it. But now let's talk about this cleaning and base station. I absolutely love it. So you're just going to put, it's got this display on here. It tells you how much battery level you've got left and a hygiene indicator. So the hygiene indicator is basically how long you've been using this. So say you've been traveling on the road, you've used it probably a bunch of times, that hygiene indicator is going to go down a bunch. So now when you put it in this base station, it automatically charges it, but then it's going to tell you what level of cleaning you need to do. So if you've been if it hasn't been cleaned for a while, it'll be down here. And you're simply gonna press the button. Okay, so when you put it in the charging station, it's gonna sense if it needs cleaned or not. So this one, the green light is on that it needs a small cleaning and it needs charged. So you're just gonna simply press the button and that's gonna do the cleaning. But I'm gonna show you what the cleaning is. So down below here, you do have to keep some solution in here. These things you have to replace after about 30 days. But this is kind of like an alcohol base that has some lubricant in there. It's going to run it through the shaver head to clean it. And your whiskers actually end up down in here. It's a pretty neat deal. Put it in. Close it. There's a little indicator here to tell you how much solution you have left. So again, put it in. It senses. Press the button. And it starts a cleaning automatically. It even turns the razor on to kind of free up those whiskers as it's running the liquid through it. They got kind of a picture here through it. See, it's gonna run that liquid through the razor. Again, all automatic, you can leave it in here. It'll turn the cleaning process off when it's done, but it'll continue to charge it. If you wanna stop it, just press the power button, that stops it. So you do have to have a little bit of more room in your around your sink or a place to keep this. I notice it doesn't get dirty, so you could put this anywhere. Um, I don't notice that it gets dirty around here at all. Now, when you do take the shaver out, there is a little bit of residue on here sometimes. Now, if you leave it in there long enough, it does dry, but you may see some staining on there. That's what that alcohol base does. And that says that's perfectly normal. 
Let's talk replacement heads. So the Norelco, you're going to lift it up. You're going to replace these three heads here. Norelco says you should change these after 12 months. Braun says 18 months on their head. Now, I've not gotten neither of that out of either of these. Um, the Braun does last a little bit longer, but you got to change this entire head like this, this whole assembly. And same with the Series 7. It's got a different style head, it says Series 7 on it. But it's got a release button, and you're going to change out this whole entire head. And they just snap back on. Now, the Series 7 does have an indicator that comes on to let you know, to remind you, right there in the middle, it'll say, change your head. The Series 3 will also remind you, too, it's got a little light down there. Now, the Norelco, when you turn it on, it's got a it shows you the battery status. I've got three bars. That means it's fully charged. Okay, let's go to the Series 7. This feels a little more refined. I just feel like it's doing a better job. Again, you do have to kind of keep going over and go against the grain. Now I like being able to lock it, and then I can get underneath my nose. Unlock it. I do feel like this gets closer there. I don't have any skin irritation with either with any of them. If I had to do my side trim, my sideburns, this one seems a little easier. Okay, so now let's go to the Braun Series 3. Turn it on. Again, just more RPMs. Sounds like it's doing a better job. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up with the Norelco. Again, you turn it on. It's doing an okay job, you know. So again, all of these are nice shavers. They just have some little differences between them all. I hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.